that we're accessing the heart from the groin to put in the pacemaker. And um, traditionally, we would normally be doing that uh, from slightly more cranial, which is really from the shoulder or sometimes even from the neck. And so that makes this procedure very different. But the procedure on, on average is supposed to take around 20 minutes. We performed the procedure under, under conscious sedation. It's tolerated fairly well. Um, <clears throat> it's not really an uncomfortable procedure at all. Uh, it is a fairly huge uh, diameter sheath which we are introducing the pacemaker with and so for that particular part of the procedure we asked for the anaesthetist to probably sedate the patient uh, you know slightly more. So this is essentially the sheath uh, which introduces the pacemaker into the heart. Right. Do you like a slightly lower approach? Which is uh, in fact where that is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, ab absolutely. Okay, just pulling back a little bit and then all the way. Okay, and we're going to come back just a little bit now to free the housing from the device. Something like that. Okay, nice and still. Nice and still. And we've got capture at 100, nice and still, nice and still. All right, it's under one. Uh, we've fluoroscopically, we've got a very good position. One point one three, one. So we're aiming for an initial threshold below one. Good, well, we've done the tug test, we've rechecked. I think it's probably time for us to say our goodbyes. Yeah. Well, it's about, um, on average, they're saying approximately 90% smaller, uh, you know, than the original pacemaker, which is in my left hand. So this is a dual chamber pacemaker, and this is the current single chamber pacemaker, which, which, which we've just implanted, which is the, um, the micro device from, uh, from Medtronic. Uh, it is the only uh, FDA-approved leadless pacemaker currently available uh, in the world. The little tiny microchip of a pacemaker which is really incredibly sophisticated technology because it's, it's actually a battery, it is something which is pacing, it is something which is sensing what the heart is doing and at the same time it also has a built-in accelerometer which is uh, really um, I suppose uh, um, a feather in the cap of the engineers because you have to think about the fact that this device is attached to a muscle which is moving all the time yet it is also able to sense the patient's activity and adjust, adjust itself according to what the patient is doing. Uh, and uh, the series that we've just completed now is the first uh, completed uh, series of um, commercial implants uh, for the, the African continent. We performed the procedure under, under conscious sedation. It's tolerated fairly well. Um, <clears throat> it's not really an uncomfortable procedure at all. Uh, it is a fairly huge uh, diameter sheath which we are introducing the pacemaker with and so for that particular part of the procedure we asked for the anaesthetist to probably sedate the patient uh, you know slightly more um, uh, deeply. But the procedure on, on average is supposed to take around 20 minutes.